Hello and welcome back to Django tutorial. In this point, I have covered most of the Django topic. Today I will show you how to build a total functional cloud application with Django using one of the powerful feature that is a class based view. This approach focused on maximize code reuse and allow you to build Django application much faster and more efficient. I split this video into three parts. The part one of the video consists of project initial setup that is the project boilerplate. The second part, I am going to add the model, forms, template design for the CRUD application. And in the third part, I am going to cover all the CRUD operations through the coding. So I appeal you to watch all the video in sequence to understand the process. So without any delay, let's get started. Here I will create a project which will manage software engineer details. So I'll create a project CRUD project and which consists of order application which contain some software engineer details. The coding link is also added in the description. So no worries, you can copy that code and execute in your end. So let us start the discussion through coding. The very first step, you need to create a project. So to create a project, we need to use a command Django admin start project and name of the project. Here is CRUD Pro. Once we create a project, then we need to create one of the application under the project. So we go inside the project and then we'll create one application. To create the application, we need to type a command python manage.py start app name of the application. That is a code. Once the application is created, then we need to install that application under the Django project. So to install that application, open the project folder, go to the setting.py file and scroll the file. You can find install app is there. Under the install app, we can add a customized application. Already some of the inbuilt apps are there. We need to add here customized application. Now it means that the coder application is installed under the project. Once the setting is complete, then we'll add a template folder. Just add a new folder under the project. Name of the folder is templates. Under the template folder, we can add new folder that is an application. So here, application name is coder. Inside that folder, we can create multiple HTML files. So here, I'll create base.html. Likewise, I can add multiple files. Like if I want to add a record, then I'll add add.html. Likewise, I can add a multiple HTML file inside this template folder. So template folder is also created. Once this folder is created, we need to do the setting of this template. So again, open the setting.pf file and do the setting under the template tab. So under the template, you can find a directory list where you can add this template folder. So when you add this directory, we need to first import the package OS. So scroll the file upward and first I'm going to import the OS package. Once this package is imported, then we are going to modify this template directory tab. So os.path.join and we need to add this template directory after the base directory. So I'm going to add the template. Now template is also set properly under the project. Once the template is get set, we need to write a business logic for this project. So to write a business logic, we need to open the application folder. Open the coder application and go inside the views of PY. As I discussed in the starting, we are using class-based view. But for a project boilerplate, I'll just use a function-based view. So first I'll just create a function, which will be, let's say, index function, and having parameter is request. For this specific function, I'm going to return the one of the HTML page. So first parameter is request, and here I'm going to return one of the HTML file. Order application, which consists of base.html and index.html. So I am going to return the base.html. Now this views is also completed. Once the view is completed, then we have to render the application through the URL. So now I am going to create a URL pattern for the project as well as for the application. So to create a URL pattern for the project, we need to open the project folder and scroll the file urls.py. Inside the file, we have to make some modification. So the first modification is that we need to include the function. That is include. 
and now I'm going to include the application name. So under this URL pattern, I'm going to write path. Then I'm going to include, insert the include function, I'm going to add order URLs. I'll just copy this content and I'll create the same URL.py under the coder application. So open the coder application, you won't find this URL.py. So we need to add this URL.py. So I'm going to create a new file urls.py and copy the code of project urls into the application url some of the code is not required so i'll remove that so this commented code i'll remove first along with that i don't want to include any application under the application so i'll remove this as good as i'm going to remove this now i'll modify this path here i'm going to work on index function and that index function will be rendered to the browse so First, we'll import the views from coder application. So from coder, import the views. And then we are going to call the function views.index. So this is my function that I call using this index view. Now this URL pattern is also set for both project and an application. Now I'll just add a few content under this base.html. So I'm going to open the base.html and I'll write certain HTML tags. So HTML and inside the HTML tag, I'm going to use a body tag. Set the body tag, I'm just using the heading H4. The coder details. We'll design this page afterwards with the coder details. Now everything is set under this project. Now we need to execute the project to verify whether we are getting the right output or so here I'm going to first execute the project using the command python manage.py run server. Now copy this URL and paste into the browser. Now here we have two URL pattern, index and admin. So here I want to execute index. So once I execute the index, I'll get the coder details. So this particular message that I write under my base.html. So this is a basic fundamental Project boilerplate is ready. Now afterwards, we'll write model, forms and template design in the next video. Thanks for watching this video.